Hello, everyone. My mini-series on romance scams has gotten the most attention of anything on my channel. So I have an update on this guy right here. You remember him? He's the guy who was passing himself off as an army captain doing military work in Africa someplace. The only part of that that was right is I think he is in Africa. So this guy has sent me a letter wanting 600 bucks out of me. So I'm going to go through it piece by piece so you can recognize what's wrong with it and just kind of know what these people are up to. So hang on to your seats. This is a fun one. This is the whole letter that was sent to me, and I'm going to be taking little parts of it and blowing it up so you can see it better. Because here you could just see the whole letter, but you can't see anything else. Here I've highlighted where they're hitting on me for 600 bucks. One thing to note is how brazenly they have downloaded and inserted um, a logo for the United States Army. So they've absconded with it and put it in the top of their letter to make it look official. But that does not make it official, so don't fall for that. It looks official, but it's not. The first thing we're going to look at is where it's from. Most military addresses end in domain name dot M-I-L for military. They do not say USA.com. So what these people have done is gone to a website called USA.com, which I'll show you in the next slide, where you can get your own email through them and then have as the, pre the suffix or whatever is at the end, USA.com, which makes it sound like it's coming from the United States, but it's not. So here is the USA.com website, and all it is is a map of the United States, and you can click on local maps and get information on each individual state. But you can also get an email that says USA.com, kind of like gmail.com, but instead of ending in gmail.com, which a lot of them brazenly do, it ends in USA.com, which is a free email address that they get, but it will hustle a casual observer into thinking it's more official than it is. So be careful of that. This letter concerns this guy getting approval to go on military leave. If he just pays $600 as what they call a security deposit, he can leave with the next military team coming this way. A security charge of $600, which is highly refundable. You'll notice in red letters underneath that. So if I advance 600 bucks to this guy's military, fake military account, they'll give it right back to me. That makes absolutely no sense. Don't fall for it. Here again is where they're telling you again that it's refundable. So I send this strange place with a USA.com email, 600 bucks. And as soon as this guy lands on the ground, they're going to send the 600 bucks back to me. It's like, yeah, right. I'm going to hold my breath for that. So here's another one of the $600 being highly refundable. And the only thing that has to happen for it to be refunded is some paperwork has to be done. Then they'll refund it immediately to me. I'm not sure how important this is, but it's not even signed. You think if they were hitting on me for 600 bucks, the least they could do would be to sign the letter. Insert a JPEG of a signature or sign it with a pen and then scan it and send it to me, but it's, they haven't even gone through the trouble to sign it. That's kind of suspicious in and of itself. In case I have any questions, they've charitably included an email address that I can send my questions to. Check out that address. Is that generic or what? I mean, I don't even have an individual's address. Like the guy who supposedly wrote the letter, you'd think I'd get his personal address in case I had any questions, but it's just basically Military office at USA.com. Yeah, right. I would certainly expect an answer back for anything I said there. So just in conclusion, that's the scam. The setup is to promise they've given this guy like a month's vacation. They're going to let him come home and visit with me as long as I shell out 600 bucks to him. So don't fall for any of this because they'll make it sound like it's legitimate, but it is not. So what would have happened is he would have kept the 600 bucks and then he would have either needed $1,000 more to bribe somebody in customs, which if he were coming into this country from Africa, you don't go through customs to leave Africa. There's nobody to bribe to get out of Africa. So that would have been the next step in it. 
I should have played along with it, but I wasn't willing to invest the 600 bucks. So there's another romance military, a military romance scam. So just be careful of it. It sounds too good to be true, but it's not.